We begin tonight with breaking news out of Kershaw County. A portion of I-20 has been shut down as emergency repairs are underway to a bridge over the Watery River near Camden. Now, our crews have been covering this all evening. News 19's Rachel Rip has the details on the bridge damage, and Walker Lawson has been keeping an eye on the traffic. We begin our team coverage with Rachel. What's the latest with repairs? Yes, Whitney, I'm here on the westbound lane of I-20. You can see crews behind me are still working on this scene. It's still a very active scene. There are um, piles of lumber over here. There's a huge light to make sure this area is well lit while they do all of this work. And you can see crew members over here off to the right side. They've been putting equipment down that right side area, down under the bridge, moving dirt around, um, heavy equipment coming in and out of this area. Obviously, it's been closed down for all of these repairs. Now, a little bit earlier this evening, you can see some video now of what that scene looked like. Again, crews working around the clock here to fix this area and specifically working um, possibly overnight too um, to make sure that this area is fixed. Now, I also spoke to the South Carolina Department of Transportation's public information officer, and she says this is an all hands on deck type situation. We certainly have the support we need, the staff we need out here, and the resources to get this done as quickly as possible. We really want to get it finished and make the road and the bridge safe so that folks can get back on it and uh, continue with their holiday and just regular travels. Now, DOT says that they noticed earlier this morning that this bridge um, was down a little bit. It was not collapsed. It was just down. And so they obviously brought crews out here, emergency crews out here to make those repairs. Again, all of those detours are still in place. So you're going to want to take Highway 521 to Aaron Cloud Drive to Highway 1 to Highway 601 and then re-enter the interstate at the 92 mile marker. Reporting live in Camden, Rachel Rip, News 19 WLTX. Well, thank you, Rachel. And as you can see, still a very active scene. Now, speaking of detours, they are guiding thousands of drivers through Lukoff and Camden. Our team coverage continues with Walker Lawson in Camden. What are the drivers reaction to these detours? Well, Whitney, this is a, a travel nightmare for many people. Uh, traffic is backed up from drivers that are coming down I-20 West, I-20 East, and US-521. Now think about it, you're taking thousands of drivers off of this interstate and almost funneling them on two lanes all the way to downtown Camden. So people have been in standstill traffic. We have heard a lot of horns, uh, a lot of people speaking to us about their frustrations, but we did run into one family, the Lopez family. They are traveling from Massachusetts all the way down to Biloxi, Mississippi. It's taken them a long time. This is what they had to say. And we ran into this traffic, which showed it was like an hour long delay, which is kind of crazy. When you've been on the road that long, it's just we're just tired and ready to get back. Now, Whitney, uh, just to give you some perspective, it takes me approximately 30 minutes to get from Camden to Columbia. Our GPS says it will take us about two hours if we were to leave right now. So if any people are traveling for the holidays, as we don't know any date for when these repairs will be done, I would definitely uh, prepare for some delays tomorrow if you're planning to travel. Reporting in Camden, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19 WLTX. Thank you so much, Walker. Again, you want to avoid that area. Nobody wants to have to sit in that traffic. We know that's been a nightmare for a lot of drivers in that area. Now, we, of course, will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest developments both on air and online at WLTX.com.